Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, I am Stephanie. I am the face behind the voice of this channel. Been doing this for a long time, so it's so nice to have you here. Welcome to the channel. I hope you have a lot of fun. Today we are going to be doing something with America. I got a request on how to care for a drink and wet system at a silicone. I thought, well, we can do that with America. I'll share with you guys how I take care of my drink and wet system for America. And if you want to do it with yours, by all means, feel free to. But before we get there, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up and share our content with your friends. So we're going to be grabbing our can of formula for Miss America. This is from 1929. Not really, but I put the powder formula in there. And to each their own what you use for your dolls. If you use real formula, so be it. It is your money to spend it how you see fit. And if you have a problem with how people spend their money, this channel probably isn't for you. One thing about this channel is we like people to do their own creativity and do their own thing and make their own decisions as an adult. We're not here to tell you what to do and that's just something we don't like over here. We're all about fun, so let's not suck the fun at anything, all right? So let's go make her a formula bottle. First, we're gonna grab a bottle. We haven't used these bottles yet for her. So this is a um, Dr. Brown bottle that was sent to us. We're gonna see how she likes it. Since America is still sleeping, I took advantage of the time. I have not fed her yet. I did some uh, renovating, uh, remodeling, rearranging of things in the nursery. So that's where I would change stuff, you know, and I had things going. So we've moved this shelf, all because I bought this today. 479 shelf today at Goodwill. That one shelf had caused me to destruct all of this. So I'm currently working on that. Um, wasn't planned. Jackie's like, you should record yourself when you're doing it. I'm like, you know what? The thing is, is I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I just don't record myself because I'm like, I don't know where I want to put this or that. And yeah, but this is the progress. This is where we are right now. get her bottle ready first we need to cut her nipple because so she's a drinking wet so she's not going to use any sealed nipples and this tiny hole yeah it won't work so what I do is I actually just kind of cut straight across the top giving it a good size hole look at that you see that hole right there that's really what they need because when you push it opens because they don't you know they can't suck but so when you push, the hole opens, and then that's how they look like they're drinking the bottle. So, never use this bottle. It's going to be interesting. Uh, it looks like there might be a little lid in there. Okay, so we're going to get her some water. We're just going to do two ounces with her. we got our formula in our vintage can. So we just take one scoop, put that in there, and then I have not used a bottle like this. Hopefully this works out well. Okay, your nipples messed up. Put that in there, and then make sure to hold that nipple closed because it's got a big hole. We don't want it coming out. So we've got our formula ready. We're just gonna feed her. All right, so we have her bottle. Let's go ahead and take away her pacifier. We'll put it right over there in her mama room. We've got a burp cloth for her. And we have her bottle, so let's go ahead and feed her. The first time when I give her the bottle, it's kind of the hardest because like the milk wants to sometimes come back at me. Well, because it's got a big old hole, so you gotta be careful, you know? We'll just put it right in there. Oh, there we go. Let's see. 
All right. And she's ready to drink that bottle. So I just push a little bit because, you know, she can't suck on her own. So and that's what makes it. This is our first time using this bottle. So bear with us. You know, she's getting used to it. Looks like it might be working out for her. I see some milk in there. So who has a drinking wet? Have any of you, and if you don't, I mean, if you don't have one, have you ever fed one? Have you seen one in person? I've had one in the past years ago. Um, long time ago. I don't remember what I called her, but she was a micro preemie. Not sure how I'm liking this bottle, but we shall see. Oh, got some milk there in her mouth. I just went down her pipe real fast. So Dr. Brown, yeah, it's leaking on the side. I've heard about this happening. This is why I never use them for the dolls that much. But um, it did. I did get formula coming out under the rim, I think. I don't know. Anyways, let's just, let's just get back to feeding her. Okay, that bottle's no good for her. So yeah, it was, it was getting milk on me. So when I would push... The milk was coming out underneath the rim of the bottle. So I went and grabbed the Soothie, cut the nipple on it. Um, I had brand new nipples for these. So let's see, because everything was sealed on these ones. I'm excited. I love the Soothie anyways. I haven't tried it with her. Let's see if she likes it. It's going to be, oh, I see the air bubbles flowing. That's a good sign. That means she is enjoying it oh my goodness yay i'm so glad the soothie is working for her i cannot get over how real <laughs> this little one looks she is just too adorable oh my goodness look at that little face So she almost drank all her milk. This takes forever to do. I'm just going to say it is like feeding a real baby. It takes quite a long time. So now what I do to make sure there's no milk inside of her is I'm going to run water through her. But I open up her diaper so I can see it start coming out of her. Because at first it has a milk tint and then it's clear. When it runs clear, then I stop giving her water and she's cleaned out inside. So let's go ahead and take her little shoes and socks off. Oh, look at that foot, little cutie. We're using our new area from the nursery that we fixed up. Oh my gosh, look at there. Oh, she's so cute letting her little feet hang out. Let's see how this diaper situation worked out. Did feel a little bit uh, full in there. I see the little line. Oh, she's got her little dirty line going right there. She's got stuff in her diaper. So I'm gonna use the same diaper she's wearing and 
give her her water so we can clean out her pipes. Yep, we gotta make sure you, you clean. You pee clear, girl. Let's start giving her this water. Come on, come on, come on. Got to pee clear for us, little baby. Goodness. I feel like it takes, it's taking me a long time. Get this, oh, yep, it's coming out white. We just do this till it comes out clear. And it's coming out clear. Yay, that's what we like. We need clear pee, cause then we know she is clean and we don't want her moldy. Nope, we don't. So this is how I care for my drink and wet system. Um, Everybody has their own way. This is what works best for me. I think this is like the third or fourth time uh, using her system. So it doesn't get used that often. But um, this is what works. So I hope this helps. Thank you for the video request. I am happy to uh, make them for you. My goodness, she's so adorable. Oh, you cute, cute, cute little girl. There you are. Okay, let's put back on your bloomers. It's still Thursday here, but she's got to keep wearing her fruit stuff for Dress Up Thursday. If you miss the theme for next week, it is circus theme. We do have that coming up. Next Thursday is going to be circus theme. I'm so excited for that. Oh, you got a little bit of formula on your face there, girl. Okay. Put your socks on. These socks fit her perfectly. These are um, the socks that little Waddle Nursery sent us. And they have tiny little feet. So it's nice. We don't always have such tiny little feet socks with ruffles. And then we're going to put on her favorite little shoes. These are Baby Dear Mary Janes. They're vintage. If you want to find them, you're going to have to look on eBay. These are preemie size. Um, these are sent to us by Gail. And then Stephanie from Jane's Reborn sent us some other ones. They're so cute. I can't wait to use them. So the nursery is looking super good in my opinion. I have loved the way it's turned out. We've got a changing table over there. New shelving unit over there. Just looks so good. Stuff I'm putting away, but all these clothes are going to be available for sale. They're vintage clothes from my personal collection I had for the dolls. So one of these crib sheets will work for the porter crib. I measured it out. It's the same size. So I'm going to put one of these crib sheets on that crib. This sheet is perfect, OMG. I never thought when I found these sheets that they would fit my porter crib and we almost didn't get them. Jackie looked at me like, do you really need them? I was like, of course I need them. It's vintage Gerber, but who would have known it was gonna fit the porter crib? Because I had no sheets. As you saw, I had a blanket on there. There's Ocean back in the porter crib. Oh, he looks so perfect in there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, and don't give in to negativity. And we'll be back soon. Bye!